Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jamila and um, today's video is going to fall under like the personal development category and you can't actually see in here but um, things are kind of a mess because I've been um, just kind of going through old papers and stuff and like clearing things out but um, I actually found two things that were really cool. Um, one is this like postcard like I wrote my goals, like, I think this is from, like, 2017. Um, I'll get back to that a little bit later. And then I also found this little, um, like, printout. It's kind of, like, a little bent. But, um, I'm pretty sure this is from Lifehack, like, the website. And, um, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of, like, a good video topic. Because it kind of picks up, um, after, like, my last one where I did, like, more sort of, like, goal-setting stuff. So, um... This one has like, the, um, the little index card has like 12 different things I wanted to accomplish. And um, it's kind of funny because it's like pretty much they all say we. Um, but the one that is like individual, I have it accomplished. So um, it doesn't actually say get married, but the first one is my husband is awesome. So um, I, I like to write my goals in like the present tense. So like, yeah, and that just is like the life I want to have. Like when I wake up and say like every day, oh my gosh, I love my husband. He's awesome. Um, the next one is we are raising happy, healthy, kind, well-adjusted, high-achieving children. I mean, who doesn't want that? Yeah. Uh, we have weekly date nights and family fun nights. We earn over one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. I feel like it could probably be higher than that, just because I'm more ambitious now about like my own earnings and. I mean, I'm also older, so it's like, the older you get usually, like, the more valuable you should become to your organization, um, and be paid accordingly. Um, but here's the one I recently checked off. I drive a Volvo. Um, I guess I didn't really care about, like, what he drives, but I was like, I'm getting a Volvo. Um, and the next one is we have his and her walk-in closets, which are well-organized. I currently do not have a walk-in closet, um, although it is pretty well organized just because it's like pretty small. Uh, we are all very fit and healthy in every way, so I think that meant like the two of us as well as the kids who don't exist yet, but <laughs> yeah. We've traveled to six continents and 100 plus countries, so I've been to about 30, um, so I've got a little way to go. Um, I have not been to... Yeah, I wanted to, like, make it close to, like, all six continents by now, but, yeah. I just have not, I literally haven't traveled since, like, um, yeah, like, what I've shown on this channel, which is kind of sad, but, yeah, it can change. Um, we have a lovely home in a wonderful neighborhood. We belong to a caring and wholesome community. We are very successful in our careers. We are aware of our blessings and give back, so... That last one kind of ties into, I mean, I, I, I give back more now than I have, I think. I, I mean, I gave, uh, I like donated to like Corona Relief, but that was like in March, April sometime. And then my recent donation, but as I earn more, I do want to like give back more. So, anyway. And then back to life hack. So these are some regrets of Wasted 20s. That's like... I don't know if that was like the title of this or if that was like a subtitle, but that's all that I saved from the document. I think I like copied and pasted it into like a Word doc or something, just so it would like fit on like this sheet. But apparently, well not apparently, I think everyone knows this. A lot of people regret regret not traveling more. So that was like the first one. And it's um it just kinda goes into the fact that a lot of people like you know, like, as soon as possible, get married and have kids, and then get a mortgage and all that, and never really, never really travel, because I guess, like, there's also this, like, misconception that travel is so expensive and, like, unaffordable, but people can, like, buy all kinds of other stuff, so, you know, I don't want to get into a tangent. Um, but the next one is people regret not investing early, um, which is something I already do, so, um, yeah, just goes into people like trying to catch up uh, in their 40s and 50s so 
a cool thing that I didn't know whenever it was that I printed this is that you can like, well, you can obviously have like a college fund for your kid, but then if your kid like doesn't go to college or gets like a scholarship or something, you can just turn that money into like essentially a trust fund. So you can just like start investing for your kid like right away. Uh, tip for the future. Uh, being more responsible with spending, which like ties into like the last one. If you like buy a bunch of junk, then you don't have money to invest. So uh, better planning, like in terms of what you want out of life, what to do, and you know how far you want to get in your career, that kind of thing. The fourth regret is actually that was the fourth. The fifth regret is not seizing more experiences. So it gives examples of like learning how to ski, paint, speak Italian or tango, stuff like that. Um, and I love languages, so that's part of my like travel interest and experience category. I don't know, what do you want to call that? Um, I did try Zumba though, which is not tango, but yeah, no complaints there. Living a more active lifestyle or not living a more active lifestyle is another um, regret. So I think like Corona with like gyms closing and stuff really sucked. Um, and then like I stayed at home and ate a bunch of snacks, but um, I actually went back to work recently, so it's kind of like good for being more active and stuff um, and not eating snacks at home. But um, obviously like less time for YouTube, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what else? So making more friends um, and like reaching out more is like something people regret not doing. And that sort of hits home because I haven't like, I feel like I'm more in touch with my family now, like with the pandemic, but I'm not as like, I haven't kept in touch with my friends so much. So I do want to get into the habit of doing that more. And there's two more. Um, so not pursuing a more meaningful career, which is kind of hard because like some people want to take more risks, like in try like entrepreneurship or something. Um, or like acting or that kind of thing. Um, some people want like a high paid job, um, but they regret not like pursuing like art or something. So that is kind of tricky. And I don't even know if I'm going to be doing what I'm doing now in the future. Maybe it's... So, oh, that was the last one actually. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I hope that um, either this life hack list or my own personal goals index card um was like interesting or helpful in some way and um whoever's watching this i wish you well on um on your goals and i'm uh, like I, i've been like practicing finnish lately and i'm like i have my grammar is all messed up in english now i wish you luck with your goals i was gonna say on your goals i don't know but yes um and i'm almost finished the duolingo course I was like hoping to finish it by like the end of 2020. That did not happen, obviously. But um, yeah, good luck with all of your goals. Um, I hope no one has any of these regrets or if you do, you turn them around so that uh, you don't have them in 2022. And um, take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Can't even see my hand. Bye. <laughs>